What's up everybody, Alexander the Day Trading Champ. Today can be a very exciting, highly profitable day, so make sure you stick through the whole video so you're ready for the opportunities we could possibly have. Okay, so the question of the day, is the market actually going to drop today, guys? We've got two days in a row of divergencies on top of divergencies, and you've seen the dollar hold up through the strength of the market, right? So the market continues to rally, and what happens to the dollar, it's it's holding up. You can see at these bottom levels here, it's barely budging. And on days like this, where the dollar, uh, where the market is rallying, uh, the dollar should be breaking lower. So what do we get here, guys? We get resistance at the simple moving average. And what well, what is the simple moving average here on the chart? Let me show you guys this. All right, so dollar DXY is the ticker for dollar. If you don't know, now what's happening here is we're double bottoming. Um, by that simple moving average, okay, and, and as long as we double bottom here, that's going to be a very bearish outlook coming in the next few days, okay, so understand this, all right, we're at the very bottom of the trend, we're double bottoming on the moving average, okay, so that's very bullish for the dollar here, all right, on top of that, what do we have, guys, we have confirmation that the dollar is more likely, especially at this level, to break out higher why because oil is actually signaling to us this morning it's dropping now if you don't understand the significance of this oil and dollar are inversely correlated every single transaction in the world is based off of US dollars when it comes to oil transactions so when oil is dropping lower obviously it's a pre indicator that dollar has a very high probability to break out today okay so if dollar breaks out today what's gonna happen the, the market is going to drop but the question is is the is the dollar actually going to break out today, or is it consol is it going to consolidate? But the point is that this is the bottom of the range with higher probability for breakout higher. Okay, now that's the question: Is it going to break out higher? It doesn't have to break out higher, right? It can start inching up, inching up, and when we can get a breakout later. It could be next week on Monday or Tuesday. Okay, but the point is, is we're at the top level for the S and P 500. Look at this, guys. It's been about a month or so since we are at this level okay so what's the next level from here it would be this 3486 level okay but after that um, you pretty much have the all-time high as the next large level so uh, you know upside potential here is very limited especially if you don't believe that we're gonna reach back to our all-time bubble highs okay uh, if the bubble has truly been popped it wouldn't make sense for us to revisit that bubble high already within just a month after this drop okay so you have to realize here that you have very limited upside potential with great downside potential. Okay, on top of that, what gives our oil uh, trade such strength here? Right, we got these uh, close or these out uh, far out expiration contracts on oil. Okay, so understand here that what did they do yesterday, guys? They pumped out good, great news for oil about the forecast uh, and the guidance coming, and that oil is going to be the leading energy source until 2040, and oil would, would not peak. Or the use of oil wouldn't not, wouldn't even peak until 2040. And what happens, guys? You realize that oil did not break past the top end of the, its range, guys. So all that good news, yet we're still not able to break higher on oil, at least past its top end of the range. Okay, so that just shows the strength in this top end of the range here in oil, about 41.5 level. Okay, so very unlikely for us to break through that level all right so anywhere here is a very good entry on that oil position all right puts here puts 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 i mean i can't stress it enough guys what a great entry especially considering that if we break through here uh you know that's going to be very good and let me show you what points to a further drop in oil here check this out if you guys aren't looking at the charts every day like this you need to be uh, you, you can come to some very good conclusions here. So check this out, guys. Oil volatility, OVX here. You can see what does oil volatility do yesterday? It hammers out on top of that simple moving average. So obviously, that's going to be very bullish for oil volatility, which is going to be very bearish for oil. Okay, so hopefully this is all adding up and all this is starting to make sense. Okay, so look at gold now too. Look at gold. Where is it? At the very top end of its range. Okay, so you can see we're steady down uh, trending here. And, and take a look at, at the gold chart here on the um, thinkorswim. Okay, this is going to really show here. Look at this, guys. At the very top end of the range, I mean, it even lines up with this trend line that I had drawn up uh, like last week. Okay, so you can see clear downtrend here. And you do not want to be going long on the markets when gold is at the top end of its range. It just does not make sense considering that dollar, uh, gold, and the S&P 500 are so highly correlated. So the point of this video is to point out that 
if you're going long, you're buying calls and everything, um, if you really want to, you still can, but you have to understand that your upside potential is very limited here and your downside potential is much greater, okay? So I feel sorry for the permanent bulls or the permanent bears because, you know, this is the time to reconsider your strategy and take the opportunities the market is giving you, okay? So what could change here though, right? Let's just say what if gold started breaking through its range, all right? Then everything would change, right? The whole market conditions could change or it could just be a slight overshoot. So we're gonna be very carefully gauging this and we will be ready for when the market decides to drop. And if it's today, right, I would really hope it'd be today. Why? Because look at the contracts, guys. They're so cheap on Fridays, right, as weekly options traders. Guys, if you can time these reversals on Fridays, the, the profitability is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, you can see here the 3430s are going for 260, right? By the end of the day, those could be at least $10, you know, and with a 50 point drop, those could be worth 15 or more, you know? So it's just crazy opportunities on Fridays when we get these big reversals. Now, the question obviously is, will that reversal take place or might we consolidate today or could we push this off to next week, right? Because I tried to predict uh, a reversal on, on Wednesday and obviously we got very unlucky with the high correlated indices uh, diverging these last couple days, okay? So I know that I can't control the divergencies. What I can't control is what on the chart, what's on the chart and what's most probable to happen. And what we've went over here is what's most probable to happen, all right? So all I do know is that I will be ready for the reversal when it comes, and I hope you're gonna be ready now too, especially after going all these ranges and, and all these things, so guys. All right, so guys, like I always say, we're sharks, we're, you know, we're not bears, we're not bulls. We're gonna take whatever the market's given us. And you know, we might be calling uh, downside this week, but guys, if, if these ranges get broken and the market conditions change, uh, we might be buying calls, 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 calls next week. All right, so with that being said, be ready, all right? Be tracking your ranges, all right? And guys, uh, you could be paying, you know, like hundreds of dollars for some macro show to go over these things. I'm going over it, uh, you know, for completely free, and I can't think of another YouTube channel that's going over uh, all the major indices that have high correlation that really make the difference, all right? And, you know, we're day traders, uh, and we day trade options, okay? But we still want to know the, the macro perspective because it's going to give us a lot more confidence in our trades all right so with that being said i hope you found a lot of value in this make sure you let me know if you made it to the end of the video or you let me know if you have any questions because i will definitely get to you all right so with that being said i'm alexander the day trading champ make sure you're subscribed if you're not turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on the next video uh, we're going to be ready for any opportunities that present themselves and i'll see you guys on the next video